Hi there YouTube, Extreme Trames here. So, as you would know if you watched my recent Minis video, there was one Thomas Mini I could not find, and that was the Flocked Thomas. So, after I made that video, and just after I uploaded it, I actually managed to get my hands on one from eBay. Um, and that's something I'm going to talk about at the end of the video. So, in this review, we'll be taking a look at the mysterious, rare, special edition Flock Thomas, and then having a talk about how much this thing's actually worth, how hard it was for me to find, and then some questions about what your thoughts on it are. So, what are you waiting for? Let's do it. for me because I've never bought Thomas Minis online and obviously it's quite hard to know that they're going to get give you what you get because you do just get a blind bag you have to trust the other person is giving you one now this did come unopened and as you can see the packaging was 260 which is meant to be the number of the flocked Thomas Mini and Here he is, the Flocked Thomas in all his glory, or the Snow Thomas, depending on how you call it. So I'm just going to give you a bit of a 360 degree view before I start talking. Alright, uh, people said this was a pretty cool model. They are correct. This Mini is excellent. Um, as you can see, there's you got the clear, uh, or sorry, the translucent wheels and the translucent chassis down the bottom. They're actually a slightly different shade of blue. I think this is a slightly lighter blue than this one, so you get a really nice translucent effect. You've got the white running board. You've got the, oh, dropped, dropped in there. A um, bit too excited. You've got the uh, white smoke box as well as the Thomas with the pink printing on the nose and the cheeks. You can just see that there, so he looks like he's cold. And then, of course, you have the Thomas design. So there's two kind of levels to this. Firstly, you have the initial design where they've, you know, put... They've obviously whited him out a little bit, and they've put frost markings on there. It's a bit hard to see on the camera. Um, there's frost markings on there. There's snow markings. There you go. You see some splotches of snow on the top, as well as some icicles coming down the side. And then, as you've probably established from this, these camera angles and the lighting, this is a felt covering on here. I'm not totally sure how it's attached. Um, it almost looks like, I think the felt has also been painted. Um, I'm not totally sure how they've done this. It's, it's very clever how they've done it. Um, and I can't tell you exactly how that, that has been done, but yes, this is definitely something which is, um, yeah, wow. The, the, the effort and the care that went into designing this was phenomenal, and it is a very, very cool looking Thomas Mini. Ha, huh, get the pun. Um, and it feels just so nice to touch. Like, I just want to, you know, it's one of those things you use a real, you pick it up and you're like, what is this? It's so weird. If you are skirting to a toy box, you'd know which one it was instantly. You can feel it straight away. Um, I don't know what the longevity of this felt coating is going to be like, um, because I know, you know, some things like this kind of kind of scratch off or the felt gets quite dirty. So I don't know about the longevity of this as a Mini, um, for rough play, but certainly in terms of what you get here, it's very, very nice. Um, I'm a big fan of the way they've done that. Interestingly, um, he doesn't have his name printed on the bottom, uh, as, as some of these new ones don't. He's just got a code on there, which might give you more information than it gives me. But yes, now this is a Thomas Mini that is definitely worth collecting. It is a cool one, but he comes at a pretty steep price. So I guess the question you're asking is how much did you pay for it? Well, uh, in a, in a shocking turn of events, I paid uh, $10 for the Mini, plus $8.50 in postage, um, which is insane. It, it, it's just insane. And I'm actually going to leave a negative review for the seller that I bought this one from, because I asked them, I said, why is something so small costing so much to post from Sydney, which is a big city in Australia, to Wollongong, which is where I live, which is a city about an hour, an hour and a half away, um, and, and they're both quite big cities, so it's, it's you know, not that far. Uh, and, and they said, oh, well, you know, you understand it's quite hard for me to find this. It's very rare. I like to pack it nicely and put it in a code. They just put it in like one of those little posting envelopes um, with a little bit of like bubble wrap in it. Uh, and I actually saw the sticker on the on the um, parcel. They use stickers that tell you how much it's been paid for the postage. And it said it was paid for $2. So I got seriously ripped off um, in the postage department, and I'm definitely going to leave that in the review on, um, eBay, but even if you forget the postage for a second, I paid $10 for a single mini, um, which is just bonkers. Uh, it's even more bonkers when you think about the fact that I go to some stuff which I haven't yet reviewed, but it's, it's mentioned, it's on the list. Um, you know, I paid $5 for these four packs, oh, obviously on special, they were meant to be 15 um, for these four packs of minis, um, you know, and their special edition, the, the DC Super Friends minis. Uh, so I got like, you know, four times as many minis for half a price. 
Uh, again, your normal minis in Australia are $2 or $2.50, $3 if you're very unfortunate and find something quite expensive. But my goodness, this was a very expensive item. But that said, I searched at least a dozen different boxes um, of, of minis and I couldn't find them anywhere. So, you know, it was one of the situations where um, a weird thing's going on with the minis in Australia at the moment. Uh, all the Wave um, 2 and Wave 1 2018 is all sold out in every store I've been to, and I've been to probably six or seven different stores, both toy stores and department stores, and also like uh, um, supermarkets because they sell minis as well. And um, yeah, they've gone back to having like 2017 stock on the shelves, or even some places I saw selling from 2016 Wave 3 and Wave 4. So, I don't know what's going on, but Mattel is um, sending out some really weird stuff to retailers and it's not current and it's shelf forming very hard. So they need to sort their, their stuff out because I don't know what's going on, but the minis have not been distributed well. Uh, and that's quite a bit of a worry for me if you want to collect them. But that's why I resorted to doing this, so I could show it to you guys and so I could have the complete set. Uh, and I think it's just to say that this is listed on the collector sheets as super rare, along with the uh, upcoming Around the World Globe Thomas. Um, and I think that's very dumb. Uh, I don't like, you know, I don't like blind bag toys, full stop, uh, because I think they're, you know, you need to be clued into how they work to be able to get, not get duplicates, which I think is a bit unfair for people, um, because, you know, a lot of kids and parents want to collect their favourite character, and they don't want to have to buy a whole box, and maybe still not get their favourite character, because they're not in that wave. So I really don't like blind toys. I also don't like them when they make some of them super rare, and I think the problem is that there have been other minis in, um, the Thomas and Friends waves that have only been one there's only one of them in every box, um, but they've never been advertised as being super rare. It's just obviously how the machine and the computer packs them into the box. Um, when you say something is rare and then you, you know, make it limited, it's like the Mr. Gold thing that Lego did a little while ago. Um, you make it artificially harder to get than it should be. And I think that's the problem. It looks like to me like the reason I can't find it is because people are going out there and taking them, um, which is why it's odd that this was the only seller I found on eBay that was selling it, and they only had one or two that they could sell. So I don't know what's going on, but I think it's a very poor move. Um, if you know, if you're Mattel, you shouldn't really shouldn't do this. It's really unfair for consumers, it's really unfair for parents, um, and really unfair for fans. So don't do it, especially when it's actually a very good mini. So, that's all I've got to say about that. Let me know your situation. Um, what are your thoughts on this mini? Um, how much do you think I got ripped off by? Um, a lot of you are probably going to say like $15, $16, uh, and I think that's very justified. But it shows you the crazy things I do for YouTube. Um, again, noting that the reason I you know don't make a lot of videos or I don't have a lot of time to make a lot of videos is because I work you know part-time, uh, 25 hours a week, sometimes at another job, and also have another job working in schools with um, school kids, plus I have full-time university. So that is why these videos take a while, and that's why when I buy this stuff, um, you know, I need to think about what I'm buying, which is why I can't always buy everything everyone wants me to buy straight away, because I do need to pay things like rent and all those adulty bills that people have to pay. So that's all I've got time for. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Extreme Trains.